tonight. The Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs in second place in the Midwestern Conference host the sixth place Stratford Cullens. Following five straight wins, including a 5-3 victory in Cambridge last Saturday, the Corvairs look to move into a tie with the first place Winterhawks. Two points tonight with Ty Caledonia for top spot with 25 points. The Stratford Cullens look to move to 500 on the year following their 5-1 victory over the Kitchener Dutchman last night. We'll now pause for the anthem. Starting in goal for the Stratford Cullitons, number 30, Nick Caldwell. He's played 12 games, 676.28 minutes. He's won five games, lost three, and lost two in the shootout with one shutout on the year. He's allowed 31 goals against for a 275 goals against average, 320 saves on the year, and a 912 save percentage. Starting in net for the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs, number 30, Justice Huzak. He's played 10 games, 525.4 minutes. He's got a 4-4-1 four four loss record with one shutout loss, 27 goals against on the year, a 308 goals against average, 275 saves on the year, and a 911 save percentage. Play now underway and play is whistled down as the puck goes into the Caledonia end and we'll go back to the Stratford zone for a face-off on the left side dot. Connor Murphy in on the draw, puck deflects to the corner and cleared away by Pleon. Cleared up by the Stratford defenseman and out to neutral ice. Quilty goes back for Caledonia and looks to regroup. Drops it back to his defenseman Montour and shoots it up through the neutral zone. Grabbed by Pleon, shot across to his other defense partner, Curry, and now back into the Stratford end. Up along the boards to Nori, he misses the pass and Blunt clears the puck back into the Stratford zone. Andrew Barton, leading scorer for Stratford, takes the puck up now through the neutral zone, recovered by Nori as he drops back to his defenseman Blunt. Cleared into the Stratford zone now and recovered by Jeff McArdle, grabbed on the far side by Ryan, and he lifts it to his forward who looks to clear the zone. Caledonia shoots the puck back in, McArdle goes back to recover for Stratford, throws it along the side boards, and the puck now back in to the Stratford end near side. Cleared ahead for Barton, he misses the pass and it goes all the way up around the boards back into the Caledonia defensive end. Minton now clears the puck out to neutral ice and Jeff McArdle rushes back for Stratford. He's hit by Swift, but the defenseman grabs the puck. Cleared up near side by Wettlauer the pass to the other side and dumped into the Caledonia zone. Swift now with the puck, he's hit from behind as the puck goes to the neutral zone and Abraham goes back into his own net to recover the puck for Caledonia. Up the near boards now to Swift, goes down the other side, a shot on the far wing is kicked aside by Caldwell. Riker Killens with the puck now, goes across to his other defense partner and Stratford regroups, 
throwing a pass up the near side into the neutral zone. Cleared in now by Stratford, near side. Heyman goes after the puck, but he's knocked off the puck by Christmas. Kamenya with the puck now far side. He can't handle it, and it's back to the Caledonia defense. Cleared all the way down the ice on the missed pass by Montour. Goes down the ice for icing, and will go down back into the Caledonia end. These two teams playing last night, Stratford winning 5-1 on five consecutive goals in the first period. Kitchener getting a late third period goal, it wasn't enough. Caledonia winning 4-3 and Brampton. Brampton got two early goals and a 3-1 lead, but they were not able to hang on as Caledonia tied the game up later in the third. The game winner coming from Connor Murphy at 16-12 of the third period. Justice Huzak in net for Caledonia tonight. Zach Eastveld out with a shoulder injury. He left last Saturday's game midway through the first period, took a slap shot off the shoulder, so he'll be out for a couple of days. Puck on the far side now to Quinty. He clears back into Murphy. Murphy on the far side, gives it back to Quinty and back to Murphy, who misses the pass and regroups in the corner. The shot by Murphy is up over the net, cleared back into the near side by Blunt as the Caledonia forwards try to dig the puck out on the near side. Quilty tries to keep the puck in, but the play is whistled down on the offside. Face off on the near side, face off dot, neutral zone. Stratford wins that draw, battles for the puck up along the boards and clears the puck in behind Huzak. Blythe now with the puck behind his net for Simcoe, goes up the far side to Montour who shoots the puck in near side. Quinty goes after it, he's in there with Connor Murphy who goes back to the point to Blythe and back into Quilty. Quilty at the left point now, goes back to the point to Quilty after the point from Pass from Murphy. Murphy with the puck now on the near side, goes back to the point to Montour, who misses the pass to Nori in the near corner. Stratford looks to clear, but left on side by Blythe. Murphy now near side point, shoots and the puck deflects off into the corner. Murphy looking for a pass, side of the net, near side, open net, but couldn't get a stick on it and the play goes back down into the Caledonia zone. Montour with the puck now far side. He moves up over the blue line, looks for a pass to Blunt, but instead gives back to Brown. Montour gets the shot back and gets a weak shot off the point. Back to Montour now on the point. Minton looking for a deflection in front of the net. Cleared back in by Blunt, Riley and Mitch Brown in behind the net now. Riley digs for the puck far side. Brown in there. Four players, two players aside for each time. team looking to dig the puck out. Miller now on defense for Stratford. Behind his own net. And the puck goes up the near side as Montour tries to intercept. Stratford gets it to Brooks through the neutral zone, but he can't handle the pass for a breakaway. On the far boards now. Mitten checked by his man Wetlofer and intercepted by Mitten and back to the neutral zone. Brown far side gives back to Mitten and the puck scoots free to the Caledonia defense and cleared back up the far side. Ferris with the puck now, shoots it in near side. Caldwell drops it for his defenseman, Pleon. Pleon behind his own net. Looks to regroup as his other defenseman circles around in front of him. Stratford looking to set up a play. 
Wet Lauer with the puck on the far side in on the neutral zone. Chipped in near side to the left of Justice Huzak. And a big hit on Wet Lauer by Fairler, Ferris down in the near corner. Wet Lauer gets the puck back side of the net but can't get a shot away. Down on the near side now, Ryan moves down into the corner. He goes behind the net. The Stratford forward, Wet Lauer, dumped at the side of the net as Ryan turns around looking for a pass in the Stratford offensive zone. Ryan still can't find a pass as both Wet Lauer and Ryan circle in that near corner looking for a good pass, but instead a weak shot to the glove side of Huzak, who handles it with the glove easily. Face off to the left of Huzak. Riley wins that draw and puts it back into the corner for Abraham. Bombery pushes it up the far side to Scott Dorian. He fans on the shot. Up near side now, Stratford clears out to the neutral zone. Langford tries to get the puck as he hits Abraham on the far boards. Two players for Stratford checking a Scott Dorian, the Caledonia forward, back to the Stratford defense now and up the far side. Stratford chips it in and goes in on a line change. Langford chipped the puck in, went in on a line change, and Stratford will regroup. Dorian now up through the neutral zone. Can't keep it on side as the puck squirts back to Jordan Curry on the Stratford defense. Watson now far side gives to Wetlauer, but it's intercepted by Caledonia as they move in on the three on two. Quilty now can't handle the puck and he's got to turn around in the neutral zone. Watson intercepts and misses the far post. Can't find O'Brien on the far post. Pleon keeps it in, gives it to Watson. Fumbled away by a couple of players in front of the net and taken away by Murphy and up the other side. And they score! Tyler Norrie on the far side got a weak shot away, but somehow it must have got past the pad of Nick Caldwell. The Caledonia Corvairs jump on the board and lead this game one to nothing with 11-19 left in this first period of play. The last time these two teams met, Caledonia's second home game of the season. Caledonia winning that contest four to one. Joe Metzger was in net for that game. Nick Caldwell now getting the bulk of the time for Stratford. But Caledonia jumps on their board with their first goal of the game. So Caledonia gets their first goal of the game, scored by number 14, Connor Murphy. Assisted by Matt Quilty and Tyler Norrie. Time of the goal, 8.41. So Connor Murphy gets his 15th goal of the year, his 30th point on the year. Murphy coming into tonight's game, 15th in league scoring. Norrie goes off for Nia as Stratford goes to the power play. Down into the corner, Watson tries to grab the puck. Barton now on the near side. Barton on the near side boards, looks for a pass, goes out to the point to Killen. 
Killens falls down but gives it back to Barton. Barton looks for a pass near side, can't find anyone as he's forechecked by Cal two Caledonia forwards. Barton moves out front, gets a shot away, but a blocker saved by Huzak and intercepted by Mitch Brown in the neutral zone. Moves around the defenseman and a big save by Nick Caldwell as Mitch Brown moves around the defenseman shorthanded. Caledonia with five goals, shorthanded goals on the year already. O'Brien hits the post in the slot off the pass from Culleton. Huzak kicks the puck away far side. Back to the point now. O'Brien looks for Trevor Sauter. Back behind the net to Jared Culleton. Culleton skates around the net far side. Back to Killens on the right point. Killens into the near side. Over to Culleton, back to the point. The shot by, by O'Brien is kicked aside by Huzak. Back to the point to O'Brien. Killens now looks for a pass far side. Wetlaufer gets the shot away, but Huzak able to cover up face off in the Caledonia end. Four seconds to go in the Caledonia penalty. So down the far side to Nori, looks for Jonathan. Nori still with the puck, falls down, gets a weak shot away at the far side of the net. And Caldwell covers up. So Stratford now 0 for 1 on the penalty. On the power play, excuse me. Caledonia killing off their first penalty of the night. Blythe shoots the puck back in, and Pleon goes back on defense, throws it over to the far side. Puck goes through the neutral zone, recovered by Montour and chipped back in by Blythe. Kamenya gives chase. Ricci tries to grab the puck near side. James clears back in behind his own net. Goes up the far side to O'Brien who passes back to James. James just decides to deflect the puck in the zone and go for a line change. Montour can't find a pass, looks to be icing, but the Stratford defenseman beats it to the play. Beats the icing on the play. Wettlaufer goes down into the near corner, but intercepted by Montour and cleared up far side. Shot back in and deflected wide of Huzak as Caledonia attempts to clear the zone. Shot back in by Stratford as two more players go off on a line change. Their defensemen change and Miller and Killens come out on defense for Stratford. Ryan with the puck now. He looks up the near side to Wettlaufer. Wettlaufer clears it in but intercepted by Abraham and cleared up around the boards. Dorian gives chase in the neutral zone but knocked away by Killens. Riley with the puck now. A hard shot is gloved down by Caldwell. So Caledonia with a win tonight would tie Cambridge with 25 points. They'd both have identical records. They'd both be six and two at home with six, three and one away records. So a big win here tonight for Caledonia as this play goes offside would put them in a tie for the league lead with the Cambridge Winterhawks. Connor Murphy wins the draw back to Blunt on defense, who drops near side to Ferris, who, dro who drops it in the zone. Nori now in front in the slot 
The shot is blocked and cleared back in by Ferris. Curry recovers as the shot deflects wide. Curry on the far side. Stratford makes a shot wide of the net. Cleared back in by Pleon. The pass missed by Sauter, who was standing in behind the net. Intercepted now by Matt Quinty, who looks for a lead pass through the center ice zone. Look for a pass up past the red line as both teams go off on a line change. Blunt dumps the puck in now far side, but intercepted by Jeff McCardle. McCardle goes all the way up through the neutral zone and dumps the puck in behind Huzak, recovered by Ryan Blunt. Cleared up the near side now as Jeff Swift goes in, beats his man up the boards, looks for a two on one. The pass across the crease and they score! So Mitten at the side of the net couldn't get a stick on it, so he put the pass back to Mitch Brown on the point. He puts it high up over the shoulder. Up over the shoulder of Nick Caldwell and Caledonia Corvairs have now extended their lead, leading two to nothing with 531 to go. 531 left in this first period of play. Brown wins the draw and drops it back to his defenseman. Abraham dumps it in and Mitten gives chase far side. Dumped in now, but recovered near side by Christmas, who drops it to Swift, and it's cleared into the neutral zone. Stratford goes up through the neutral zone. Brooks can't handle the pass, and it goes back to Miller on defense, who looks to chip it up the far side, but it deflects into the Stratford zone as Caledonia goes on a line chain. Killens goes in far side, dumps it in behind Huzak. Kamenya grabs the puck far side, crosses the blue line and goes far side to Fabrici. Looks for a pass to Jonathan. He can't hang on back to Ricci. Puck is deflected. Kamenya side of the net. Two Caledonia forwards standing at the side of the net. Can't chip it past Nick Caldwell, the Stratford goalie and Blythe goes back into his own zone, looking to set up another play for Caledonia, looking to take a three goal lead here in this first period. Deflected in by Jonathan through the neutral zone. And Stratford intercepts and goes back up. The forward now on the far side, intercepted by Bombery. Bombery with the puck once again. Looks for a pass, he misses the pass to Riley, and the puck goes down the ice for icing. We'll head for a face-off back down in the Caledonia end. Caledonia will be in Buffalo Tuesday night for a game against the Junior Blades. That's their first crossover game of the year with the Golden Horseshoe Conference. The Junior Blades coming in to tonight's game with an abysmal 1-21 record. They've given up 188 goals on the year with just only four, they have just over 40 goals on the year. So giving up almost four and a half goals against to the one they're scoring, we should get an excellent result from Caledonia on Tuesday night. Riley on the far side. Montour there also tries to grab the puck, but it's cleared by Blunt back in to the Stratford zone. Pleon with the puck far side, goes up the far boards and given to Watson. Watson the shot, kicked aside by Huzak. The rebound also kicked away on a weak shot. Kept in at the point by Pleon and Montour far side. 
clears the puck back into the neutral zone. Killens now with the puck near side, looks for a Stratford forward, but intercepted. Connor Murphy with the puck now, goes back to Quinty on the point, but can't handle the pass on side. Killens with the puck, regroups behind his own net, looks for a play and passes to his defenseman on the far side. Intercepted by Connor Murphy and grabbed by Montour now near side who passes back into Connor Murphy. He's interfered with by the Stratford forward and we'll see if there's a penalty here as Nori gives another Stratford player Mitch Vandergunst a shot after the whistle. Head referee Brown making a two minute call on the original infraction by Jonathan Lankford. Caledonia to go to their first power play. Caledonia with 30 power play goals on the year as Quinty grabs the puck in behind the net. Murphy goes to the point, back to the near side to Montour. Into Nori who misses the pass, back into Quinty in behind the net as Stratford looks to box in Caledonia and clear the puck on the penalty kill. Murphy on the far side now, still looking for a pass. Barton looking to intercept as Quinty now with the puck far side. Gives back to Blythe, the shot is wide of Caldwell. And back into Connor Murphy in behind the net. Montour near side, spins around, gives back to Connor Murphy, back to Montour, flipped out to Quinty far side. As Quinty moves back to the point, he looks for a shot, drops off, drops off to Connor Murphy, Connor Murphy on the far side, his shot is blocked and cleared down the ice by Stratford as they go on the line change. Huzak goes all the way up the far bars to Quinty. Quinty on the far side now. Circles around the Stratford forward. Hands it to Brown down in the corner and missed on the point by Jeff Swift as Huzak goes back to clear the puck. Blunt with the puck now, Jared Culleton in on the forecheck for Stratford. 22 seconds left in the Stratford penalty, just under 30 seconds left in the period. Blunt back to Swift into Pleon, who clears the puck back into the neutral zone, and Swift has to go back and regroup for Caledonia. The pass to Brown is missed and sticked aside easily by Caldwell. Swift keep, keeps the play on side as Langford kills, jumps back into the play after serving his penalty. Just a few seconds left in the period now. 3.3 seconds left in this first period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs with a two to nothing lead. Minton wins the draw, clears it high up over the net, and that'll do it as Montour tied up at the side of the net. So your first period scoring summary, Caledonia got on the board with their first goal. Connor Murphy got his 15th goal of the year assisted by Matt Quilty and Tyler Nori. Time of the goal, 8.41. Mitch Brown extended the Caledonia lead to two to nothing on assist by Nate Mitten and Jeff Swift. Time of the goal, 14.29. So after one period of play, it's the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs two and the Stratford Cullitans no score.
So the two teams set for this second period of play. Brown on the draw against Barton. Barton wins the draw, drops it to his defenseman, Curry, who chips it down into the Caledonia end. Blunt regroups for Caledonia on the far side, and Mitten tries to intercept the pass in the neutral zone. Blunt back with the puck now, goes near side to Ferris, who gives back to Blunt. He misses the pass, and it rolls all the way back down into the Stratford end. Brown chases Curry, the Stratford defenseman. Curry gives it up on the far boards and up through the neutral zone as Nathan Ferris tries to shoot the puck back in. A big hit by Nate Mitten in the neutral zone on the far boards. There may be a penalty call on that play as the head ref puts his arm up at the center ice red line. But instead, we'll have a face-off on the near side neutral zone face-off dot. Miller dumps the puck in for Stratford. Montour with the puck now and clears it back to the neutral zone. Nori on the far side looks for a shot, but Caldwell gets a piece of that and kicks it up into the glass as Stratford heads the other way. O'Brien clears the puck in as he falls down, down into the corner, circles around the net. Huzak the stop as O'Brien looks for another shot, but the pass is blocked. So Watson and O'Brien get two or three chances there, but the play goes back the other way. Nori now with the puck, intercepted by the Stratford defenseman Miller, throwing back around the boards, but kept in the Stratford end. Back in neutral ice now, Trevor Sauter gives chase. And he just flips the puck into Montour, who intercepts and throws all the way down far side to Kamenya. He looks for Ricci, who can't handle the pass, as he's checked by the Stratford defenseman. Puck cleared into the neutral ice now, as Abraham gives Heyman a little shot on the boards. And it's cleared back down to the right of Huzak who grabs the puck and chips it up to Kamenya on his near side. Barton now with the puck, intercepts behind his own net, throws to Langford, but he can't handle the pass. Langford now with the puck again in behind the net, gives back off a centering pass in front to Stratford. Brett Heyman, but he can't handle the pass, and now we're back down into the Stratford end. Blunt keeps the play on side, but it's blocked by Mitch Vandergunz, far side now. Briar Jonathan checked in the corner, left there for Scott Dorian, who goes back to the point to Blunt. His shot is handled in the glove by Nick Caldwell as Scott Dorian receives a little shot from the Stratford forward. Can't see his name or number or as, as his back is facing me. That is Mitch Vandergunst as he skates by his own bench. The draw won by Jared Culleton, but he can't get it past the point. Puck kept on side by Ferris. Blunt now tries to keep the puck in near side. It chips ahead to Bombery, who goes around the net to Dorian. Back to the point to Ferris. His shot deflects up into the slot, but Dorian can't get a shot away as he goes back to the near corner. Bombery now with the puck behind the net, deflects far side to Garrett James, who can't clear the puck. Dorian tries to keep the puck in. He falls down. Dorian tripped up on the far side, and it looks like Stratford's going to head to the box for two minutes. So it's 16-22 of this second period. Jake Pleon heads to the box. He'll sit in the sin bin for two minutes as Caledonia goes to their second power play of this game. Connor Murphy digging in the far corner. 
Cleon goes off two minutes for tripping as Murphy grabs possession behind the net and hands off to Quinton. Far side Swift shoots off the point to flex high up over the net. Gives to Quinty now on the right point who goes back into Connor Murphy. Goes back to the point to Swift. The deflection to Tyler Norrie in the slot just up over the net. Blunt now on the far side. His shot is deflected by Norrie who goes into the near corner and gives back to Blunt. Kamenya now with the puck, goes down into the corner, or Quinty, excuse me, gives back to Murphy behind the net, who looks out front, and they score! Matt Quinty in the slot, assisted by Connor Murphy on the pass from out behind the net. And the Caledonia Corvairs charge out in front now with a three to nothing lead, 15-28 remaining in this second period of play. And a rebound. So their Caledonia's back in right away. A shot by Riley in the slot, but he got a weak shot away. Kicked away by the Stratford goalie. Bombery with the puck near side now, but chipped in by O'Brien. Trevor Sauter moves around in the corner, turns around. Lots of movement there by Trevor Sauter and intercepted. Cusack hands off to Montour. Montour goes up the far side boards. Nobody can handle that pass as the Stratford defenseman goes back to recover. Barton now with the pass, the puck in neutral ice. He turns around and gives to Andrew Miller. Intercepted by Swift and back down into the Caledonia zone. Grabbed by Abraham now, pass up near side to Mitten, in through the neutral zone to Brown, who chips it off into behind the net. Caledonia looking out front, Brown looking for a pass to flex off the Stratford defenseman. Mitten tries to grab the puck in the near side, but he falls down in the corner as Ferris shoots wide to the glove side of Nick Caldwell. So Matt Quinty deposits the third Caledonia goal into the far side past the glove of Nick Caldwell on assist by Connor Murphy and Ryan Blunt. Four minutes into the second period, Caledonia now with a commanding three to nothing lead, 13.42 left to go in this second period of play. Minton was injured down on that play in the corner so Mitten carried off by two teammates. He'll go to the dressing room. Looks like an injured right knee by the way he's limping. We'll have a face off in the neutral zone. Mitch Brown against Andrew Barton. Barton wins the draw, drops it to his defense. Who moves it up through the neutral zone on the far side, play whistle down on the offside. We'll go back down into the Stratford end for a face-off. I've noticed Caledonia with men in front, a lot of men in front tonight looking for deflections off the point. That's how they were successful last Saturday in Cambridge getting a few goals on deflections off the point, grabbing a 5-3 win over the first place Winterhawks last Saturday. Ryan on the near side, looks to move around the defenseman, gives back to Barton, and they score! So Huzak falls down 
and Jordan Curry shoots the puck in the far side. The Cullitans get back in this game, down by two goals now. Caledonia now with a 3-1 lead, 13-12 to go in this second period. Stratford Cullitans goal. Face off now in the neutral zone. Jonathan wins it. Puck around the boards. Jonathan looked for it there, side of the net. Montour with the puck now, clears the puck in, and Ricci gives chase. as Stratford recovers the puck and shoots it through the neutral zone. Puck changing possession several times in the last 30 seconds. No one gaining possession through the neutral zone and we'll head back for a face off in the Caledonia end. So Jordan Curry Scores on the far side when Ryan tried to move around the defenseman. So Ryan passed the puck off to Curry, who shot it in the open side, passed, a, passed Huzak, who was already down on the play. Should have stood up and maybe covered the angle better on the first goal of the night for the Stratford Cullitans. Nearly seven minutes into this second period, Stratford gets their first goal. Now trailing the Caledonia Corvairs three to one. As Caldwell covers up in the Stratford end. Nori loses the draw to Sauter who chips it around the far side. Sauter and Watson give chase through the neutral zone. And back we go the other way. Connor Murphy turns around near side and goes back to the point to Blythe. His shot is not deflected as it goes into the near corner. It looked like maybe the goalie caught a piece of it, but it just went wide into the near corner. Blythe now shoots as Quilty looks for a shot on the far side, but his shot deflects wide of the net. Quilty with the puck now in behind the net, far side drops off to Abraham, who clears it back in behind the net to Connor Murphy. Murphy goes back to the point to Christmas. His shot is deflected high up over the net as Stratford tries to clear, but Abraham keeps it in at the line. Trevor Sauter goes offside in the Stratford neutral zone. We'll have a face off back in the Stratford zone to the left of goaltender Nick Caldwell. Quilty and Barton in on the draw. Barton wins the draw, but Dorian able to grab the puck down in the corner for Caledonia. Stratford intercepts and goes down the far side. Barton misses the pass and Pleon recovers. He tries to clear the puck through the neutral zone, but it's intercepted by Dalton Riley. But Riley was offside on the interception. 10.40 to go here, second period. Barton to take the draw against Matt Quinty. Near side faceoff dot. Stratford comes away with that and Barton charges in to the other end. Riley intercepts the puck and clears it back to the near corner. Barton tries to intercept again, but Dorian clears for Caledonia as Riley gives chase at the side of the net. He gains possession of the puck on the far side. Dalton Riley now looks for a shot, stick side, gets it away, but kicked away by Caldwell. 
Several players battling to the glove side of Caldwell. Caledonia comes out with the puck. Blunt now near side, looks to turn around, looks to make a pass, but tied up by Miller. Bombery with the puck now far side, gives to Ferris who can't keep the puck in. Ferris clears the puck up the far side, Bards and intercepted by Andrew Barton. Gives it off to Wetlauer, who's intercepted by Dorian. Back to the Stratford defense. Dorian tries to keep the play on side. Brown now with the puck far corner as he shoots wide a goalie Caldwell. Culleton now races up the near side. His shot is kicked away by Huzak. Picked up by Dorian and cleared cross ice to the near side. McCardo gives back to the other defenseman who goes through the neutral zone to Vandergunst. Watson now with the puck in the neutral zone. On the far side to Wetlauer into Watson. Back to the point, intercepted by Kamenya. Pass near side to Swift. Swift on the near side, back cross ice again. The shot handled in the glove of Caldwell, gives up a rebound, but Stratford heads back up the other way. Watson grabs the puck, chips it in, and Caledonia is gonna sit for two minutes. Interference, looks like Kamenya going off for two minutes. So Stratford will go to their second power play of the night. 0 for 1 this evening on the power play. Stratford didn't have a power play goal in last night's game against Kitchener either, but they did manage five goals in that first period of play. Back to Shane O'Brien on the point now. He looks for a shot, and it's handled in the glove by Hello, Justice Huza. So the interference call on Kamenya was a goaltender interference call as he interfered with goalie Nick Caldwell. Back to the left point to O'Brien, now gives back to Killens, who throws it far side to Barton. Can't handle the pass as Caledonia looks to kill some time off the penalty. 137 left in the minor to Kamenya. Pass through neutral ice now. Barton goes in near side, skates around the goal of Huzak and goes back out to the point. Killens now with the puck back to Barton. Barton checked on the far side by two Caledonia forwards and comes back out to Killens who gets a hard shot off the point but handled by Huzak. He covers up, no rebound, face off in the Caledonia end. Trevor Sauter to take the draw against Briar Jonathan. Back in the far corner now for Stratford. Back to the point to Curry, his shot, and a glove save by Huzak. I keep getting Briar Jonathan and Justin Abraham mixed up. 11 and 12, they don't. They're not the big scorers on this team, so I often get the two of them mixed up. Jonathan loses the draw, and Stratford kicks it into the far point across to Killens. The play back in behind the net to Wetlauer now, who gives off to Trevor Sauter. Sauter goes far side. The pass deflected by Jonathan but Killen's able to move it back in for Stratford on the far side. Down in the corner now, Riley intercepts, gets the interception off Wetlauer. And Jared Culleton moves the puck into the zone, looks for a pass for Trevor Sauter. He can't handle the pass and puck deflects into the near corner. Stratford works their way out in front, Wetlauer looking for a shot but the pass deflects all the way 
back down in to the Caledonia end, or the Stratford end, excuse me. 6.25 left in this second period of play. So Caledonia kills their second, is able to kill off their second penalty. Stratford going 0 for 2 on the night on the power play. Murphy on near side. He looks for a shot at the side of the net. Hands to Nori. He can't handle the pass. Murphy now the shot by Quinty. Back to the point to Montour. And the shot is blocked in front of the net as Nori looks to pick up the play near side. But back to the Caledonia defense and cleared in. Handled by Pleon. Goes far side. Cleared up the neutral zone. Langford with it now. Gives to Pleon. Lux for a pass in front. But the pass is missed and Riker Killens has to go all the way back on the Stratford defense to recover the play. Killens jumps on side looking for a pass to Brett Heyman. He can't find a pass. Garrett James out there also looking for a pass, but intercepted by Matt Quilty as he goes back the other way on the offside. Riker Killens got a putt got a piece of Quilty and forced him to the offside. Face off in the neutral zone to the left glove side of goaltender Nick Caldwell. Stratford wins the draw. Barton moves the puck up through neutral ice now as he gives chase. Christmas back for Caledonia. Barton grabs the puck and gives it back to Ryan, who now gives it back to Barton. Ryan still giving chase. Stratford able to keep the puck in at the point. Killens on the right point gets a shot away. Several deflections, a shot, and a big glove save by Justice Huzak off Andrew Miller. Andrew Miller looking for the second Stratford goal with a wrist shot off the point, handled nicely in the glove by Justice Huzak. Face off in the Caledonia end, Mitch Brown against Trevor Sauter. Sauter can't handle the draw as Brown chips it to Blunt far side and Jeff McCardle clears it back up the far side boards. O'Brien now with the shot wide of the net and the puck goes all the way back into the neutral zone. Blunt now with the puck, handled by Caldwell as it's dumped in by Blunt. Four minutes to go in this second period of play. Trevor Sauter takes it all by himself, looks out front, the shot, and another big save by Justice Huzak off the shoulder on his blocker side. So Justice Huzak making key saves in this second period in the absence of Zach Eesveld injured in Saturday's game. Eesveld second in the league in goaltending. But Huzak is now past him in games played due to the injury to Eesveld. A glove saved by Huzak now. Fabrici grabs the puck far side and cleared back in and intercepted by Stratford. Jared Culleton drops the puck back to his defense and cleared into the neutral zone. Ryan hit there by Simon Blythe. The centering pass in front to Jonathan. Kamenya looking for Jonathan out in front, but Jonathan couldn't handle the pass. Ricci now behind the net, goes back into Jonathan, but Stratford able to clear the puck away. Pleon chips the puck in for Stratford as they go on a line change. Dylan Wetlauer jumps in, but Connor Murphy on the other side. Two big saves by goaltender Nick Caldwell. 
As Murphy passes the puck on the far side to Fabrici, who gets two good chances, but Caldwell able to come up with two big saves on the blocker side. So the faceoff will be to the right hand side of Caldwell. So the leading scorers are the teams, Connor Murphy and Andrew Barton face off on the far side. Murphy ties up on that draw, gives it to Quilty, who centers in front for Murphy, but he can't handle the pass. Murphy back to the point to Abraham. Chips it in to Quilty behind the net, who can't handle the pass. Abraham clears the puck back in. And Stratford regroups as Barton tries to take the puck out of his own end, clears ahead to Langford and intercepted by Abraham. Langford turned over to Quinty. Quinty in the neutral zone, passes off near side to Nori, who looks for a pass to Christmas. Quinty with the shot now. His shot is blocked by Wetlauer. Quinty in behind the net, hands off to Murphy, far side, who goes to the left point to Blunt, who gets a shot away. Caldwell gets the pad down and throws it to his left-hand side into the corner. Barton now intercepted by Blunt. Blunt moves the puck back in, far side, chips it into Bombery or the attempted pass. But Killens looks to intercept the pass from him. Swift with the puck now in the corner far side, looks out front to Brown. Brown in front looks for the deflection off the point shot by Blunt. Brown is dumped in the corner. And Stratford will head back to the box. Caledonia to go to their third power play of the night. No power play goals for either side on this night. Brown to take the draw. On the far side against Trevor Sauter. Sauter wins the draw and chips it all the way back into the Caledonia end. Montour with the puck now. So Josh Miller goes off, two minutes for holding. Just 45 seconds left in this second period. Swift now on the point into Brown. Brown near side back to Swift. His shot deflects wide of the net. And Brown in on the near corner goes back to Swift once again. Back to Brown, back to Swift. Swift the shot away is wide of the net. As Montour with the puck now behind the net looks for a pass with 20 seconds to go in this second period. Montour with the puck far side, kicked aside by Caldwell. And Dalton Riley battles far side. Sauter able to grab the puck in the neutral zone, gives off to Watson, who gives back to Trevor Sauter but they don't have enough time to go end to end, and the buzzer ends the second period as the two teams get in a scrum down in the Caledonia end. But the referees seem to separate the players rather easily. So your scoring summary for the second period, the Caledonia Corvairs got their third goal on a goal by Matt Quinty, Quilty, excuse me, assisted by Connor Murphy and Ryan Blunt, four minutes into the second period. 
Stratford replied with their first goal of the game on a goal by Jordan Curry on assist by Ryan and Dylan Wetlauer. That was with 13-12 remaining in the second period. So no goals in the second period after the 13-12 mark. So there's gonna be also to end this second period some penalties to for roughing after the whistle. Caledonia will already start the third period with a power play as they only used up 45 seconds of their power play in that second period. So maybe some more penalties to start the third. I don't know if those two penalties offset or if one team will go to the power play or not. At any rate, after two periods of play, your score is the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs three and the Stratford Cullitons one. Thank you. Members of Caledonia Thunder. To the person holding ticket number one, six, six, four, three. Fifty fifth team winner tonight gets one hundred eighty two dollars. Take ticket number one, six, six, four, three to the table in the lobby to claim your winning. So it looks like we'll go to four on four hockey here to start the third period. As Montour goes to the box, there was some roughing after the 20 minute mark of that second period. So we're gonna go to four on four hockey for the next 52 seconds. The Caledonia Corvair is leading this game three to one. Stratford now with the puck in the neutral zone. Curry looks up the far side to Culleton. He can't handle the pass and the play is chipped back down into the Stratford end. Side of the net, Quilty looks for Kamenya. Caldwell got a little piece of it. Abraham on the far side, passes off to Nori. Nori intercepted, was looking for Abraham but intercepted by the Stratford forward. Nori gets a hold in. So Stratford will go to their fourth power play of this game. Both teams 0 for 3 on the night. Stratford coming in to last night's game. 19 power play goals on 100 chances for 19%. And no goals on the power play tonight, so that percentage will go down a little bit depending on if they can score here. Curry now with the puck, right side. Pass to the corner to Barton, back to Curry. Curry gave back to his defenseman and back in to Barton, Curry with it again, and the shot deflects wide of Huzak. Curry keeps it in at the point, a lot of possession for Curry on this power play. 128 left on the Caledonia penalty, the pass across to O'Brien, he can't handle the pass, 
as he fans on the shot and it trickles away to the far corner. Back to O'Brien on the point to Curry now. Looks for a pass in front to Ryan and he throws Ryan Blunt down to the ice, no call. Back to Curry on the point now. Barton's side of the net, but Huzak gets a blocker on it. Watson moves down into the corner as Bombery jumps back into the play. Fresh off his two minutes into the box. The play deflects up into the nearing, or into the corner near side. And we'll have a face off in the Caledonia end. Stratford will remain on the power play for 52 seconds as a result of those roughing after the 20 minute mark of the second period. So they'll stay on the power play for another 44 seconds here. Culleton goes down into the corner. He gets the pass back. Culleton looks for a play and shoots off the blockers of Huzak and back into the Culleton in the corner. Culleton receives a couple passes back. Culleton takes the shot and a glove saved by Huzak. So Mitch Brown will take the draw. Trying to kill the last 20 seconds of this Caledonia penalty. The puck deflects all the way around the far side boards and Caldwell leaves the puck for his defenseman. Up the far side through the neutral zone. The shot off the far wing by Garrett James is kicked aside by Huzak. James with the puck now gives to the point. The shot is gloved down by Huzak. So Killens makes the shot off the right point, but Huzak is able to glove it down and hang on to it. 16.50 left in this third period. The Caledonia Corvairs with a 3-1 lead over the Stratford Cullens. Norrie with the puck near side now. He's checked near his own bench. And Watson grabs the puck and clears into neutral ice. Langford tries to get a shot away. He looks for Wetlauer's side of the net, but the play goes the other way on a two-on-two. -two. Quinty and Murphy up for Caledonia. Murphy receives the pass behind the net, but the Caledonia or the Stratford defenseman clears to Langford on the other side as we head back into the Stratford end. Cleon gives off on the far side. Cleon goes down into the corner, gives off to Wetlauer. He moves in off the point. Barton now with the puck. Hands off to Pleon, who moves it in to the zone. And Heyman tries to grab the puck on the other side, but Jonathan with the puck now. Passes off through center to Ricci, intercepted by Stratford, and Brett Heyman goes the other way. A shot in the slot by Vandergunst is missed, and Caledonia heads up ice the other way. Christmas tries to keep the puck on side. He does, clears it back into the Stratford end. And Jeff McCardle grabs the puck and clears it up the far side board. Grabbed now by Dorian, a pass out to Riley. Riley can't get a decent shot away. And Stratford goes back up through the neutral zone. Shot in by Brooks. Cleared aside by Huzak and cleared back up through neutral ice. Jeff McCardle near side, clears the puck in, stick down by Christmas, and Abraham grabs it far side. The pass up to Bombery is missed and cleared back into the Caledonia zone as Stratford goes on a line change. 
Dorian with the puck through center ice. He can't handle it. The pass is missed by two defensemen. And Wetlauer goes up through neutral ice. He's checked off the puck. And Bombery throws the puck all the way down the ice. Killens goes back into his own zone and throws the pass across to Curry. Curry intercepted by Dalton Riley and up off the shoulder of Riker Killens and the puck deflects up and out of play. Thirteen fifty-nine left in this third period. Caledonia looking to go to six and two. They'd moved to 25 points on the year and into a tie for first place with the Winter Hawks. Barton thrown out of the draw. So Ryan will take the draw instead. Brown with the puck in neutral ice, throws it along the far side as Jeff Swift gives chase. Swift gives to Mitten off behind the net, but intercepted. And Wetlauer goes up the near side the other way. Captain Mitch Brown goes back on defense for Caledonia, jumps back into the play. As Brown looks to play two way, as the puck goes back into neutral ice, Ryan with the puck now. He looks to elude Blythe, the defender, and covered up by Huzak, we'll have a face-off in the Caledonia end. So Caledonia's next home game will be next Saturday against the Port Colburn Pirates, fifth in the Golden Horseshoe Conference. So that'll be their second crossover game after a game in Buffalo on Tuesday night. I believe, although I'm not quite sure, those may be the only two crossover games between conferences this season. Murphy now at the top of the Caledonia face-off circle in their own end. Can't handle the pass and Blunt now with the puck back on the Caledonia defense. Ferris moves it ahead to Murphy who can't handle the pass. And O'Brien chips it in going the other way for Stratford. Sauter now with the puck in the far corner. Goes to O'Brien behind the net. He looks for a pass to Watson, but Connor Murphy intercepts the play. Quilty goes down through center ice, passes the red zone, in through neutral ice. The play goes in on the offside. Watson will head to the box for two minutes. So Ryan Watson, angry at that call, slams the penalty box door as Mitch Brown, Mitten, and Dalton Riley come out for the power play. Montour and Swift on the points. Caledonia goes to their fourth power play. At 7.42 of the third period, Ryan Watson goes off two minutes for holding at 7.42 of the third period. Huzak hands off to Abraham, who looks to set up a good power play chance behind his own net, goes up the boards to Brown, who clears it around the boards. Brown goes into the near side, passes off to Mitten. Brown the shot back and deflects wide to the side of the net, past the glove side of Nick Caldwell. Swift back in his own end, 102 left on the Caledonia penalty. Riley chips the puck up and in, but it's intercepted by the Stratford defense. Culleton looks to forecheck, trying to get that second Stratford goal. Ferris regroups in the neutral zone, passes up through the blue line and the red line to Blunt on the far side as Ferris grabs the puck on the near side now, clears it back in behind the net to Nori, who looks out front. Murphy can't handle a pass. 
Blunt clears it to the near side, and Kamenya clears it up and over, high up into the ceiling, up over the heating system. Thirty-six seconds to the midway point of this third period. If Stratford can't come back, they'll drop a game under 500. Abraham now with the puck at the point. Gives to Ricci at the side, who clears in to Jonathan. He gives to Kamenya on the far side, who circles the net. Back in, gives back to Jonathan. He looks for a pass, goes back to Christmas to Jonathan. Watson jumps out of the box as Ryan goes back behind his own net for Stratford. Stratford kills their fourth power play of the evening. Abraham grabs the puck, clears it back in. Miller grabs it far side and cleared out to neutral ice. Abraham now clears the puck back in. Jonathan gives chase, but Miller grabs it on the defense for Stratford. Sauter now on the far side, twists and turns, looking for a play. Nobody up there to pass to, so Abraham intercepts the play and regroups for Caledonia. Just 9.25 left in this third period. Curry with the puck neutral zone. Miller dumps it back in for Stratford. Wetlauer goes in near side. He's looking for a play. Curry tries to chip it in. So time running out for Stratford as they're looking to set up offensive plays. Miller gives back to his defenseman who looks for a pass, but James isn't there. He misses the pass, the play goes for icing, and we'll go back into the Stratford end. 8.57 left in this third period. Dalton Riley wins the draw back to Simon Blythe, and Caldwell makes the stop in the midsection and keeps this game at three to one. So Riley will face off against Trevor Sauter once again. Riley wins the draw, but Blythe can't keep it in at the point. He throws across to the other side to Montour, who throws it in near side as Bombery gives chase. Blythe at the point now, can't keep the play on side at the Stratford bench. And we'll have a face off in the neutral zone near side, at the neutral zone near side face-off dot. Riley and Trevor Sauter on the draw. Riley will get thrown out on this draw and Brendan Bombery will take the draw. Sauter wins the draw and kicks it back to Killens who goes to the other side to McArdle who dumps it in on the far side Huzak plays the puck up and around the boards and intercepted by Montour as two players on the board couldn't handle the pass. Montour threw it up through the neutral zone, but the play was whistled down on the offside. Brett Heyman and Mitch Brown to face off on the far side by the blue line. Ferris grabs the puck, dumps it in, and Brown gives Chase far side. Heyman now throws it up the far side into Mitch Brooks. Brooks now looks for O'Brien. And Blunt just clears it out to the neutral zone. Caledonia just looking to try to take as much of this last 7.45 of the clock off as they can with a two goal lead, looking for their sixth home win of the season, their 11th win of the season, which would put them at 11-5-1. and one. 
or no, excuse me, 12, five and one for 25 points on the year. Wetlauer far side puts a shot off the shoulder of Huzak. Stratford can't control the play and they have to regroup once again. Wetlauer moves in through the neutral zone. He has it on the far side now. Goes to the side of the net looking for a play. Out to Ryan, he couldn't handle the play. The pass is finally whistled down. Connor Murphy gonna go to the box. So the Stratford Cullitons will go to their fifth power play of the night with 6.56 left in this third period. Looking for their second goal to climb within one. That'd be their first power play goal on the night. Looking to cut their deficit to three to two. O'Brien on the far point now gives to Killens into Barton. Barton on the near side goes into the corner back to Barton. Barton looking for a pass. He can't take a shot from there. Looks back to the point. Killens calls for it. He gets it and the slap shot is kicked away by Huzak. Barton now with the puck goes into Ryan, who gives off to Watson. Puck still in the corner. Barton with the puck turns around, goes back to the point to Killens. Killens with the shot, nearly blocked by Nori, goes back to Barton and off Abraham's skate and back into the corner. Caledonia clears, 105 left in their penalty kill. Stratford changes lines, looking to change momentum as Killens moves the puck all by himself up through the neutral zone and hands off to Dylan Wetlauer. Trevor Sauter now battling for the puck, but Jeff Swift will come up with it and clear it to neutral ice. Killens to the far side to Curry. Curry goes down into the corner looking for Wetlauer. He turns around looking for Trevor Sauter, but instead goes back to the point. Kicked away by Huzak. Another shot by Wetlauer. That one kicked away. Far side and handled in the glove by Huzak. So Huzak with some stellar goaltending. 5.06 left in this third period. Caledonia hanging on to a 3-1 lead. Heyman will take the draw against Dalton Riley far side. Heyman wins the draw back to the defense now to Pleon who deflects it wide of the net. Riley checks his man back to the point and Heyman looks for the clearing attempt back in the corner and we're whistled down on the a cross check coming up here. Brett Heyman's gonna go to the box. Or no, Mitch Vandergunst will go to the box for cross checking. So that won't help Stratford's cause. Caledonia will go to their fourth power play of the night looking to net that fourth goal, which would effectively end this game. Caledonia putting out their number one unit of Connor Murphy, Matt Quilty, and Tyler Norrie. Murphy kicked out of the draw and won by Quilty back on the point now to Blunt. Blunt goes far side to Swift, the shot is blocker down by Caldwell, Blunt goes back into his own end. Play whistled down, perhaps another penalty coming up here. 427 left in this third period. We'll have a face off in the neutral zone.
Barton conferring with the referees. Obviously a bit of confusion as they'll face off at the center ice red line. One forty-one left in the Stratford penalty to Vandergunst for cross-checking. Murphy wins the draw and gives it back to Swift on defense, who hands it to Blunt back to Swift. Swift on the far side now moves the puck through the neutral zone. Huzak hands it back to Blunt as he looks to set up the power play. One twenty-two left on the Caledonia man advantage. Blunt now moves the puck in near side, throws the puck in behind the net to Connor Murphy, who falls down, but he chips it back to Blunt. Murphy fans on it far side. Cleon attempted to clear, but Caledonia keeps possession of the puck. Quilty now with the puck on the far boards. He looks for a pass. Blunt, a big slap shot off the point. And Caldwell hangs onto it. Face off in the Stratford zone. So Nick Caldwell with a big save off the slap shot off the point, trying to keep Stratford into this in this game. Just three minutes and 33 seconds to go in this third period. Back to the point now, Blythe. Over to Jonathan. Into Kamenya, back to Jonathan. Jonathan, side of the net. Kamenya makes a shot, but it wasn't on net as it goes wide to the stick side. In on a break now and kicked away by Huzak. O'Brien went in on a break. On a two-line pass in the neutral zone. So Stratford looking to take some chances now, going in shorthanded with 16 seconds left on that Stratford penalty. Christmas will turn around in his own end. This may effectively do it for the last nine seconds of that Caledonia power play. 2.46 remaining now as the puck goes through the neutral zone. Brown moves the puck in. He looks for a pass and turns around to Swift. The shot side of the net by Mitten is kicked away by Caldwell and pass back off to Brown. He goes to the far point to Abraham. Back into Brown. Brown circles and back into Mitten who goes in behind the net. He twists and turns, back to Brown, back to Abraham, over to Christmas. The shot off the point is handled easily in the glove by Nick Caldwell. Dalton Riley out with Scott Dorian and Brendan Bombery on the draw. Ferris and Blunt on the points. Ferris throws the puck in behind the net as Dorian gives chase far side. Stratford looking for a pass to Wetlauer on the near wing. He misses the pass and the play goes for icing. 158. Left in the third period, Wetlauer looking frustrated as he heads to the bench. Stratford wanting to get that second goal, try to jump back in this game, maybe pull their goalie to try and tie this up at three in the dying minutes of this third period. Riley and Culleton on the draw. Culleton wins the draw and gives it back to his defenseman Curry in his own end. Curry now looks for a pass up the near side. Intercepted by Dorian and dumped back in. Killens grabs the puck now for Stratford in behind his own net. Pass up through center, but Mitch Brooks can't handle the pass. 
Ferris grabs it behind his own net, clears out at the neutral zone. Watson grabs possession. Killens goes up for a pass by the center ice red line. Montour intercepted. Once again, the play changing hands several times in the neutral zone. Dorian up, the net now empty for Stratford. As Killens looks to grab it far side, he can't handle the pass, and they score! Brendan Bombery on the far side hits the empty net as the Stratford Cullitons miss the clearing pass on the far side. Brendan Bombery grabs it at the point, deposits it in the gaping net. The Caledonia Corvairs effectively end this game with 56.6 seconds to go. The Caledonia Corvairs move out in front, four to one. Well, they gave the goal to Tyler Nori, but I'm pretty sure it was Brendan Bombery off the point. Jonathan now wins the draw back to the point to Christmas. Over to Abraham, back to Christmas. His shot is blocked by Garrett James. Kamenya moves in near side, just misses the far post. Stratford goes back to the box as Abraham misses a shot on the far side, or near side, excuse me. Stratford goalie screaming for a penalty as Fab Ricci and Josh Miller in a fight right in front of goaltender Nick Caldwell. Just 23.2 seconds left in this game. The Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs now with a 4-1 lead over the Stratford Cullitons. So I'm giving that goal on the far side to Bombery. They said it went to Tyler Norrie. We'll have to check the official scoring after tonight's game but I'm pretty sure they're gonna change that. It looked unassisted to me off the missed clearing pass by the Stratford defense. Jonathan and Heyman face off in the neutral zone. Stratford clears it in. Just 17 seconds to go as Kamenya grabs the puck in his own end. Kamenya speeds around the far side, taking it all the way down all by himself. Kamenya still with the puck. McCardo tries to grab it, and the horn goes to end this game. A frustrated Stratford team engaging in some more fisticuffs. As Christmas ties up McCardo around the neck. Kamenya still trying to get at his man, Brett Heyman. So the two teams decide not to get into any further trouble. And the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs come away with a four to one win. Your scoring summary in the first period, a goal by Connor Murphy on assists by Matt Quilty and Tyler Norrie put the Corvairs ahead at 8.41 of the first period. Mitch Brown extended that lead to two to nothing on assist by Nate Mitten and Jeff Swift. Time of the goal, 14.29 of the first period. In the, third, in the second period, 
the Corvairs jumped out to a 3-0 lead on a goal by Matt Quinty, assisted by Connor Murphy and Ryan Blunt four minutes into the second period. With 13-12 left in the second, Jordan Curry finally replied for the Cullitons on assists by Jake Ryan and Dylan Wettlauer. And the lone goal in the third period scored off the point into an empty net by Brendan Bombery with 56.6 seconds to go in the third period. For the Caledonia Corvairs Hockey Club, I'm John Molson. Join us again next Saturday at 7.20 here at Haldemand Arena. Tonight's final score, the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs four and the Stratford Cullitans one. The Corvairs host the Port Colburn Pirates next Saturday here at the HCCC at 7.20. Good night.